He'll try and run for the first time with Freeman. And he'll get this from the... Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And this time not... Out of the gun. It's Ryan. And he will not be able to... One of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Image the 31 now on first and 10. The former Gamecock here. This is Mike Davis. And move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. They'll get about. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And that play went no scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Now it's Trubisky. Pressure brought in. And when he get for this one, how about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because I think the team's... Second and 13. Here's Ryan. And that will be incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. And he's going to go down. They get. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough. Surprise anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this you have to drive it a little bit. You're looking for. They'll run on second down with Cohen. They get a left. Because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And they are going to stop him on. On the counter, Devontae Freeman. He'll get it. Here's Ryan. And he's going to be hit. And Biggest one's maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't have a fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Uh -huh. Gil Brandt, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law, Kevin Mawai, Ed Reed, and Johnny Robinson all part of the class. Fantastic class. When you talk about guys who play, will go down in history because they got the hair exactly right. And Ed had a ball up there in his Hall of Fame speech. And remember, next year, they're going to celebrate the centennial year of the NFL with a special class of 20s. Right. Hey, Wahoo! Hey, check check Trubisky now, the throw on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. No, no, no. The first down carry for Davis. And he's over midfield and into Falcon Terror. The coach, the coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured on third down, a run with Cohen. Spins by. And he's got the, this offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the carry, it's Davis. Fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, it's Davis. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Trubisky finding the former Eagle, Burton, for the Chicago first. Now a throw to the end. Leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Trubisky to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes to... Final play of the half. It's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. Should it be tight? Maybe not this tight. Scoreless as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different they're doing in the game. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. First down, a run with Cohen. And able to get this one. A relief, we got something going in the running game. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. And he'll fight his with the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. To Gabriel, middle of the field. What? And he's going to get to... From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And he completes it to Cohen. And a good gain here. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That place to hit before the game. He was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown. Bro, you didn't the hope. From the shotgun, Ryan. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. On third and one, Ryan. It's caught, Jones. They'll get this one down near the 20. From the gun, it's Ryan. Oh, and this ball's tipped intercepted. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. Exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board. And they hope the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now, meanwhile, here's more apt to take a shot like that downfield. Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Here's Trubisky. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 29. You, you, you. Throwing again, Ryan, wide open receiver complete, and he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Ricky Ortiz taking it in. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with the fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. Uh, the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 to score as they begin first and 10. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. A gain of three, second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Davis. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, Cohen. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. It's complete to Robinson. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards. First down, Freeman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 11. 